welcome back to my channel this is day six of my 12 day christmas special in this video i will be working on this design that you see here on the screen that i found on pinterest i thought it was so cute and i was like i gotta try it i've had it in my phone for a while but i was so nervous to even attempt it because it just it looks intimidating <laughs> But my mom saw it and she was like, oh my God, you have to do this buffalo print. It's my favorite. You can do it. And so here I am doing it. As always, I'm starting out by buffing and filing the nail tips. These are 3XL nail tips and I did get them from the Attitude Shop. Um, after I get done filing and buffing, of course, I'm going to do my base coat. And then I will be back. If you are subscribed to my channel or if you have seen any of my previous videos, I do not use red gel polish hardly ever. It is not a color that I'm really into and I guess it's because I don't like the way red nails look on me. So I don't create a lot of red nails, but this particular design called for it and I end up loving it. So this is a Model 1 brand gel polish that I got from Amazon. And I know I'm just <laughs> throwing this gel polish on these nails, but I'm gonna do two coats, so I'm really not worried too much about how it looks. Just to give you guys a heads up, there will be a lot of cutting and skipping past certain steps that I have explained in previous videos. And the reason why I'm doing that is because this set took me an extremely long time. So, I don't want the video to be too long, but I want it to get majority of it in here. So I apologize if this video is choppy, but <laughs> I did my best. Okay, so this is what we are looking like so far. This is after two coats of the red gel polish. Now it's time to create our lines that are gonna give us our buffalo prints. So this is the gel polish that I'm using. It is a sheer black. You will need a regular black gel polish, but for right now, we're just using the sheer because you kinda wanna have the background lines a little bit lighter. If you do not have a sheer black, you can just mix some um, base coat with your regular black and that should do it for you. This process here is what took me the longest to do and what made this set take forever. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch. I'm not gonna show the process on all of the nail tips, only this one. And like I say, for the sake of time. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch this and let it explain itself because I don't want to confuse it for you by putting my description over it. And also let me say before I go, if you have a nail stepper plate that has this design on it, then you don't even have to worry about all of this. I however do not have one. I wish I did. I was going to order one, but it would have taken too long to get here. So that's why I'm doing it by hand. But please, if you have the stepper plate, Save yourself the time and use that.
after what seems like forever i am back and that's what it's looking like now no i'm not done i have to go back in and fill in these squares with the black gel polish all the way black not sheer so i'm gonna let you guys watch this part and then we'll be on to continue this design i do apologize for the glare that's on this nail i know it makes it a little bit difficult to see but my ring light is right above me when i'm recording and trust me it was just as difficult to do this design because it looks just like it does on camera in person like it was really hard for me to see but if i dimmed it then i wouldn't be able to get these little intricate details in there and i needed to so i apologize about that you guys i'm officially finished with the buffalo print i promise it doesn't look like it right now because of the glare and the fact that some of them are a little matte but once um, I put the builder gel on it and put the top coat and everything like that, you're going to really be able to see the difference. So please just trust this process, especially if you are trying this at home. Trust the process. It does come out amazing. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't seen any of my previous builder gel videos, yes, I do use a gel polish brush to apply my builder gel and the reason i do this is because this is how i taught myself it's easier for me than a brush and it's quicker for me and considering this design took forever anyways i just went ahead and used my gel polish brush so if you are struggling with using a regular brush to apply gel polish then try using the gel polish brush like i'm using and then you can like and, you know, go from there and eventually graduate to a regular brush, I guess. What I really love about working with Builder Gel is the fact that it's self-leveling. So I don't have to work extremely hard to make sure I get a smooth finish. These nails have little to no lumps and bumps, so it's not going to take me a long time to buff them. I'm just going to show you how I do this one nail and then we'll move on. Okay, you guys, so this is me putting the top coat over these. I was going to let them be matte, but I think it looks better and it makes the black pop a lot more. So I'm just going over that with the top coat and then I'm going to move on to the white design. Okay, so now we're to the part where I just let you guys sit back and watch. I'm not going to do much talking, but before I go, I will say that I am using two different whites. I'm using a milky white, and then I'm using just a solid white. 
and I'm just doing that to create a little dimension in the design. So I've never done this design before. I'm just looking at the picture that I show you guys in the beginning and I'm trying my best. I haven't ever painted a reindeer or Christmas tree <laughs> or any of that stuff. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch and see how amazing it turns out. I just wanna give a quick shout out to my mom for encouraging me to do this design because she was so adamant that I could do it and I was just like, no, I've never done this. And she said, well, you still gotta try it. And I did, and I'm glad that I did. So if you guys, any of you are just starting out with nails or wanna try some new designs that look a little intimidating, just go ahead and try it. You don't have to record it. Nobody has to see it. So if you mess up, then nobody has to know. But I'm doing this in front of you guys just to show you that everything is not perfect the first time. Like, it's okay to make mistakes. And if I made a mistake, then you guys will see it. So don't be afraid to try new things. Sometimes it's really worth it. Okay, quick little note I want to throw in here. I thought about using this glitter and I did use it on this pinky nail, but it did not turn out how I thought it was. So all the rest of the nails, I decided to go back to using this regular clear acrylic because the glitter just wasn't doing it for me. But th this is the one that I did here with the regular acrylic. Let me know which one you guys think turned out better, the one with the glitter or the one with the acrylic. Okay, you guys, so now I'm going to start drawing the deer. There's no special technique that I use. I can't even describe to you how I did it. So it's best if I let you guys just watch. And um, hopefully that'll help you and you enjoy the process.
and the picture of the design that I'm doing it does not show the thumb so I just decided to create some snowflakes and I am going to go over it with the clear acrylic powder before I cure it so I just wanted a real simple and cute design that kind of fits what already has been done so this is what I came up with Okay, you guys, so this is how they turn out. I am absolutely in love with these nails, and I'm so glad that I decided to try this. If you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for day 7 of my 12-day Christmas special. Until next time, you guys.